All right, first up, a regular here. Please give it up for Nathan Arroyo. receiving a blowy, and I was having fun, but then I looked down and, oh my god, it's a werewolf! I was so scared, but so horny, I woke up absolutely drenched in mostly sweat, mostly. Had a, had a, had a real, real weird, uh, sexy nightmare a couple weeks back. I was, uh, I was in a high school. It wasn't even my high school. It was just a high school, and I was just ass naked walking around this high school. I'm like, this is such a real nightmare that I'm having. It feels so real. The kids are all screaming because they see me just naked in the hallways. I'm like, this is so real. And then the cops tackled me, and I realized, ah, oh, fuck, I'm just sleepwalking again. <laughs> I wasn't having a nightmare. The kids from that ninth grade class were having a nightmare. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, a lot of people that I went to high school with, they're uh, slowly moving back into my hometown, slowly stinking up the place. You know, I realized, I realized not too long ago that uh, I completely missed my five-year high school reunion. They have a five-year and then a ten-year. I'm fine with missing the five-year. That's okay to me. I always thought in my head, like, go to the ten-year high school reunion, more people will be dead by then. <laughs> that, that's what I'm looking for. Success by default. <laughs> oh, man. But, uh, yeah, no. I, 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 me and my peers never got along, you know? At the end of high school, we chose different paths. A lot of my peers, they chose to, you know, leave, go to college, travel, learn, grow, <laughs> selfish shit. <laughs> Me, I'm a noble person. I stayed home. I stayed within the community to sell pills to the youth. If it, if it, if it wasn't me, it was just going to be someone else. I'd rather it be me. Thank you. I'm selling drugs to your kids. Thank you. Uh, I ran into an ex-girlfriend of mine, which wasn't fun. If anyone here has ever run into an ex of theirs, you know, it's an uncomfortable situation. But what made this situation worse is uh, she was with her new boyfriend. And uh, that really psyched me out. But somehow what was weirder than just seeing her and her new boyfriend was that uh, this new guy was... He looked exactly like me. And that really just, just hurt my brain, because it meant that she had a type. This whole time, she had a type, and it was guys like me. She was into tall guys with beards and dark hair, bedwetters. <laughs> so now I'm on the apps, looking for a girl who's just like her. So if anyone here knows any two-faced alcoholics, <laughs> you can throw my way. Guess from the sound, or lack thereof, 
Not a lot of you know any two-faced alcoholics. That's fine. <laughs> I'll sniff them out on my own. I guess, uh, guess I'll just uh, leave the stage with just something to ponder, a question to ponder, something I've been thinking about. Uh, two heads are better than one. That's the saying. So I wager, if two heads are truly better than one, then why did my Siamese brother kill himself? <laughs> 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 